to introduce Michelle Sicca, who is our uh, new board member for Technology and Innovation and is locally based in Palo Alto, and I'll hand it over to him for the intro. Thanks, Jim. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to welcome uh, Jim and Bill here, and uh, all of you. Um, really looking forward to a great session. So, what do you think, Bill and Jim, we just uh, get going with the question and answer? You're on. <laughs> As you wish, Michelle. briefly talk a little bit about our innovation. It's obvious that we will, um, in this new partnership, uh, significantly accelerate our innovation capability as a company. We have a pretty comprehensive uh, strategy going forward. As you know, we are already the leaders in uh, business applications uh, for the on-premise world, and we have defined a product strategy going forward where we will make significant steps into the on-demand world as well. We believe in a hybrid approach where customers can choose on-premise and on-demand extensions. Um, and we will, uh, during this year, make some significant launches of products in the on-demand space. So that's the first new pillar of our product strategy. The second new pillar of our product strategy is what we call on-device. It is the opportunity to consume SAP software from any device and any experience that you want. This requires a pretty thorough architectural blueprint, which uh, Michal Sika has been mastering over the last few years. Um, and basically, it's based on the assumption that you um, extract the logic, the business logic and the application from the front end logic. And with that, you get an opportunity con to consume our applications from any device. Um, and we will build our own um, experiences <coughs> on these new devices, mobile devices and, and, and any device. And we will allow partners to do the same, and with that, hopefully, grow uh, an ecosystem that innovates uh, experiences for the many people who will use our technology going forward. Obviously, the analytical um, tool sets that we bought with the acquisition of business objects is an important part of that user centricity in our DNA. And we will um, then add the mobile capabilities as well, and with this, reach many more people with our application. So that's the second important new pillar of our strategy. And the third one is what we call orchestration. Uh, the importance of being able to orchestrate master data and uh, business processes across the landscape of on-premise, on-device, uh, and, and on-demand kind of software, and make sure that the end-to-end -end process still is intact and consistent. So we are investing in these areas, and we want to lead in orchestration in the areas of master data synchronization across multiple applications, SAP and non-SAP. Business process management, where you can uh, pursue an end to end process across all of these uh, different applications. And finally, lifecycle management to get a unified lifecycle management across on premise, on demand, and on device so that we can get the lowest possible TCO to our customers. The way we'll accelerate our innovation power is by introducing what small companies do, but do in large scale. Small companies work in in agile development methods where they iterate with their customers and with that get very efficient in their process. And we want to be the combination of the power of an entrepreneur um, and the scale that we have at SAP. So we're introducing these methodologies across a large development organization, 12,000 people. And with that, we hope to show the best of two worlds, speed of innovation as an entrepreneur and power when it comes to bringing those solutions to the market. So that is what my I would first like to say a welcome. As, uh, I think in adding to Jim's remarks, I would simply say it's been a, a fun partnership. Jim and I go back now about eight years. And uh, we also served on the executive board of SAP together. And we have a very high trust relationship that's built on a super strong foundation. So the last five weeks have been great fun. Uh, we're focused on our customers. Uh, we have 95,000 of them, which is one of the really great assets of our company. And the many innovative things that Jim just talked about can be applied to those customers and many more. 
Um, we have almost 50,000 people in the company that are fired up and ready to go, and so are we. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we did the uh, CBIT technology conference together in uh, Hanover, <coughs> Germany. And CBIT, as you may know, has about 350,000 IT professionals in attendance. And I think Chancellor Merkel uh, had a, a lot to say, but certainly she challenged the audience there. And she basically said it's time to innovate, it's time to invest in capital expenses again that help you change the dynamics of your business. And you have to move beyond your borders and really think differently about this global economy. And in large measure, what our solutions do is help companies run better. And we do that in 25 distinctly different industries. We do that for small, medium, and large customers alike. And we take these innovations and the motivation and the passion of our people, and we apply it to making every customer a best-run business. That's what we're here to do. And uh, I believe we're off to a very fast start. We haven't stopped. As you can see, we haven't slept either. <laughs> but we're having fun. And uh, it's, really, it's really been thrilling. So we'll